Hey guys, and welcome back to another commentary by Synetic Starcraft. Today we're going to be going against TQ, TQ, Ron Stomp, Ablo at 378 points. And here we go. Press tab to cycle through different selected units. Alright, here we go. Making, uh. uh what was I going to say? Uh, anyways, the Chatter Temple, and uh, we are going to spawn cross positions again, so that's where the win always. Uh. Not much to say, I mean. Here we go. So, uh. Shattered Temple is, uh. I've thought about, you know, crossing it out, because this map is kind of annoying at times, especially against Protoss. But I decided just, uh. I haven't X'd out any maps at all. Just, I guess it's more, more of a variety, so. Uh, I don't know. Change of <laughs> maps once in a while. Even though some of them are pretty annoying. Like, Zelnaga Caverns. I don't know why, like, that map is so bad, but. Like, I feel like it's been there since the start, and that's like the only map that's been there since the start, so I can keep it anyways, even though I probably shouldn't. I mean, this map is... Uh, getting your third, you gotta kill these rocks, so it's kinda like Talarine, but... And, uh, it's pretty far away, so... It's okay, but, uh... I don't know, I just don't really like this map too much, but... It's one of those maps where I'm just like, whatever, I'll just keep this... Looks like I will be going for a 15 ash because it's not random this time. I'm not gonna go uh, speedling expand. 15 hatching against Terran is just it's the way to go. Even if they two racks pressure, I mean they can't punish a 15 hatch too much as long as you know what you're doing and you don't let bunkers and stupid crap come up. Uh, sending a drone at around 14 to scout just for uh, want to see that gas. That gas makes me happy every time I scout. And it looks like he's not gonna let me. S no, is he gonna let me see it? Yes, he will. So I do come in here and uh, scout that gas. And I'm gonna be like, "All right, you're doing reactor hellion," because that's what every single Terran does in ladder, except for the odd guy who goes like hellion uh, marauder or something like that, which was really weird. But once you get meters out, their composition is kind of screwed. I think I yeah I played a guy who did marauder hellion. I don't know if you guys are interested to see that, but. Uh, it's really annoying because obviously Hellions kill, uh, what do you call it? Hellions kill Zerglings, Marauders kill Roaches. Looks like he's going to build a bunker outside of my hatchery range, but I, my returning drone does scout it. I always want to make sure you have a drone down here and overload my overload left, so my drone is going to come down and swap this anyways. Seeing that, I am going to kill this bunker and be like, alright, your bunker rush is done. But uh, he's going to be pretty consistent with this from what I remember, so once that spawn spawning pool comes down, making two queens and a set of zerglings, or should be at least. And it looks like he's going to build another bunker. He, he does, he's not done with his bunker rush. He wants to get this down, but well, I mean, it's this late and my zerglings are starting to come out. There's just no way this is going to work, so three uh, drones to kill the marines, two drones to kill the SCV. Should be good enough, stall not long enough for the Zerglings to come in. The SCV does die, he doesn't have an SCV in range, so he won't be able to build another bunker. The Zerglings are just going to kill the Marines, has to cancel the bunker, and from here... I'm going to have to say I came up on top of that by quite a bit. So, Reactor Hellion expanding after this. Pretty standard, throwing down that command center down, swapping on the factory to make around two or four Hellions, probably. Putting a Creep Doomer down. Putting another creep tumor down. Just gonna drone up. Wait for my roach for to complete. Make around four or five roaches to defend from the Hellions. Build a bunch of Zerglings and pressure. And go straight back in the droning up. Sending these two lanes of scout just to make sure he is going the reactor Hellion route, so. Pretty content, because this is what I'm expecting, of course. If he goes for Banshees or something, it's actually really bad. I'm actually suck at dealing against Banshees so much against CBT, because I just don't get enough practice with it. I mean. Most Terrans just never go Banshees. I mean, it's it. I feel like it'd be really smart for Terran to like put two or three Banshees in their army. Cause I mean, most Zergs go Mitos, which is just completely destroy that. But I mean, if they're going something like what I do, like I don't know, Baneling, just Ling, I don't know, just Ling and Blink. Whoa, that's a freaking gliding roach. All right, but yeah, uh. The way I go, if I only have Infestors for anti-air, it's really annoying when they have like two or three Banshees and they send it in like one by one. 
really, really annoying. So it looks like I do have uh, six rages here, making a bunch of lings, getting ready for a counter attack. And, uh, he does see those roaches, so uh, let's see what he replies with. Making a marauder, all right, so. He's gonna start marauder production, seeing those roaches. Attacking with these roaches to his base. I'm sure that he's gonna do a counter attack with these hellions. They always do. That's why you always leave your lings at your base and wait for that attack. Surround the hellions, kill all of them. That just makes you more ahead and your attack much stronger here. They, it, it's the same logic to ZVZ. When you move out with your Roach Lang to attack, they always get their Zerglings to counter attack and kill as much drones as they can. Don't let them have, do that. Leave your Zerglings at your base, wait for the counter attack and go. If you see that he moves his units back to his base, then you can send all your units to help with the attack. And it doesn't look like I'm doing too much damage here. I only have four Roaches, can't really snipe a depot as he's pulling so many SCVs to try to defend this. And uh, I won't be able to get too much accomplished here, even though this depot probably would have went down, as, but uh, the bunker was building there, so that really wouldn't have done too much. And i just waste units uh, if I were to leave them there. So I do decide to back off. And uh, he's losing so much mining time from this, so... Putting them back there. Just gonna control the watchtower and drone up and get my double upgrades. Forgot my evo second evo chamber there for a sec. Uh, looks like I just pinged the middle of the map, map for some reason. That was weird. Man, these two bunkers are gonna be pretty useless. I mean, he's gonna have to salvage them. There's no point staying on one base. Getting marine shield and uh, it looks like he's just gonna go... Marines so far right now. Getting a second base right now. Landing that down. And uh, with these roaches and zerglings, I probably could punish that. I mean, look, his army is not too small, but he does have the two bunkers in the high ground. But I pr if I uh, sent my roaches around like here, then my zerglings just walking back and forth here, he probably wouldn't be able to get that expansion so soon. But I do decide to clear the third and uh, fourth rocks right here for myself instead. Getting my lair right now. It is. 32 to 31 drones, 31 drones, 33 drones to 31 SCVs, so we're pretty even, but uh, he did lose lots of mining time, and uh, I have better upgrades, so it's pretty even, but I just consider myself maybe a little bit more ahead, getting that infestation pit as soon as my layer completes. Ideally, I want to get my plus two when my layer completes, but that just didn't happen in this game for some reason. So that's kind of off timing, but no big deal. Making a bunch of drones. Harvesters are still pretty even, making six drones now, so I should start to get a little bit of edge. Scanning my infestation pit, he does see that uh, double upgrades as well, so he pretty much knows exactly what I'm doing. And uh, from his composition, it doesn't look too good, because, I mean, he has lots of bio, and infestors just destroy marines and marauders with zerglings, of course. Getting uh, plus two attack and pathogen glands for my infestors. And uh, it just looks like we're gonna wait for him to attack, because I'm not gonna attack in a hand. We're just pretty much waiting for him to attack me. Both drone or both bases are saturated, so I'm gonna be comfortable getting my third now and making just a bunch of attacking units to uh, defend this attack. And this is so annoying. <laughs> He just sniped off an overlord, he's gonna kill. These roaches should have backed off, I don't know what they're doing. But he's gonna supply cat me, which is uh, really annoying. Gonna kill this overlord here, it looks like the supply cat me again, so it's. That was really dumb. Leaving a bunch of overlords. It was because of the rally point to his base when I was doing that zergling attack, too, and uh, the overlords just got rallied there as well, which is. Really bad. So it just looks like he's gonna kill a bunch of creep tumors. Doesn't quite kill this one yet. I'm gonna kill another three creep tumors here. So my creep is gonna recede, and that's always good for him. Infestors are gonna start to come out pretty soon, though. Yeah, it looks like he has two tanks. While well, I have a lot of zerglings, so if I can get get a good surround on this ball of marines, I mean, I feel like I can do a lot of damage to him. So I'm just waiting for the opportunity, or if he decides to back off. That'd be fine as well, getting my third, and I'll just drone up that. So infestors are just popping up now. I'm killing more overlords. Supply capping me again. 
But I found that's like the right moment to get the surround, getting a nice, nice, nice surround. Killing all these Zerg, or kill, not killing the Zerg, it's killing all these Marines and Marauders and from the units lost tab. I, it's clear that I won that battle pretty convincingly. I didn't need the Infestors. I could have waited for the Infestors, but I felt like I could have lost the chance to kill all those Marines and Marauders, so that would have been that would have been really bad. I didn't want that to happen, so I just decided to go for this round right away. Uh, Overlord here to spot the third and the gold as well, so I'll know when he gets his third. Just making a bunch of drones around 12 to saturate this base here, and uh, from here I'm just gonna drone up or drone up my third base, get my hive, and go for ultras as I always do. Looks like there's a marine scouting for bases here. Two dropships go on their way through my base. And I swore I saw this drop coming, but I guess I didn't. Nope, I didn't. So this is going to be really annoying. Seeing all these drones sending his two medivacs, he's going to want to kill that. There's, this base is pretty much defenseless right now, and my rally point's over here, which is really, really bad. Uh, always just leave a couple of units at your base to defend for drops like this. I should have expected this, but uh, <laughs> I didn't, so he is going to drop all of them before attacking too, so I'm going to lose a quite a bit drones here if I don't pay attention. Come near for the attack. I was at 76, so he did kill around maybe like 8 drones before I evacuate all these drones. So I do save the majority of them, but he is going to get the hatchery as well as uh, like 10 drones. So that was, that was really good. Uh, I have no meters, so he should be dropping all over the place. Getting a nice, uh, these minerals are just blocking his marines, so that's really good for him. Can't attack him there yet, but uh, I should be able to clean that up with my infestors once he gets out of there. As long as these plus one, plus, or plus two, plus one links. Ugh. Throwing down a fungal, throw down another fungal, and all my legs are going side, so I was like, oh shit, that was kind of bad. But uh, he did get to manage to, or he did manage to snipe off one infestor there. Getting the high yield, gonna retake that base as well. Lots of minerals. I'm, it looks like my macro's bad right now, but. I'm actually just saving up for ultras, so gonna poop out like eight ultras when they come. Seeing that he's gonna break down these rocks pretty soon, he's gonna get ready to uh, get his third base. So after these ultras come down, we can see what I'm gonna do. Getting plus two finishing for armor. I forgot that, so that was kind of bad as well. But um, I do have a pretty decent drone count. So, I should be able to pump out lots of Ultras and Zerglings to deal with his army. Uh, this Marine tank business is just gonna get... I mean, how is his upgrades looking? 2-1, so... I'm pretty much gonna attack when it's 2-2. Uh, I found out if you wait too long for your uh, both your upgrades to finish, your plus 3, plus 3 to finish, it's, I mean, it's kinda too late by then, so I normally attack before that. But uh, these Ultras are going to do so much damage to uh, that Bioforce, especially with Infestors. Infestors are probably like the best to kill Marines. God, they're, they're like better than Banelings, man. And look at them. They're all full energy, so they can have lots of fungals. And oh, God, you get an orgasm when you see that pumped up ball of Marines. I was kind of bad losing two Infestors there. My Infestor control, those kind of suck, so no big deal, bro. Ultras are going to come out. He, most Terrans don't expect the Ultras to come out. Uh, looks like he's going to try to get my gold here. And a fungal on the Marines and these plus two Ultras are just going to rip these Marines to shreds. And uh, Man, six Ultras just doing so much. Rallying lots of Zerglings, more Ultras. Chitinous Plating is going to finish as well. So these tanks aren't going to do too much damage. Another fungal killing lots of Marines. And these four tanks are just going to die. From here, I'm just infinitely ahead. I mean, I'm like double the supply right now. I have my fourth base, droning that up as well. And just making a lot of Zerglings, getting ready to push through his front and just kill him. The only thing about Ultras is, is when you kill his natural, and some Terrans just don't think it's GG and they lift these supply depots up, and it's so annoying to get your Ultras up this ramp and into his main and killing all his stuff. It's really annoying. Ooh, nice bunker surrounded by supply depots. 
So uh, from here it's pretty much GG as his army is so small. And uh, I'm just maxed out. I mean, I'm just going to wait for plus three and probably attack from there now. And he's going to die. Another base here, and I do spot this drop. I knew I spotted a drop somewhere in this map, or somewhere in this game. So I do see the two dropships on their way. And those are most likely loaded, so I'm going to be like, yeah, I'm going to kill those with my investors. So getting my investors over here to uh, position to fungal those and kill it with investitarians and such. Plus three armor is going to complete as well before I attack, it looks like. So I'm just waiting for this drop, and then I'm going to kill him. So fungling both the dropships, throwing out two infestitarians, another fungal. Should be doing another fungal. Nope. But all those marines are going to die anyways, so... Sorry, dude. Building another spire just in case he decides to go... I don't know. Spire for the hell of it. Transition to the mutas or something if he goes too heavy on the marauders and tanks. And this push is going to be so strong. I mean, there's still stuff back here. I'm not even bringing it all just because I know I'm so far ahead. And uh, just two good fungals into his ball of uh, tanks and marines. And it's going to be a quick GG. So there's another ZBT for you guys. If you guys like, then... Whoa, what is that? Oh, it's just some random shit blowing up. Alright, so thanks again for watching. And I'll see you guys pretty soon again.